For all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report. Shout out to the fam. I'm Big Q. Chiming on this episode of Pelican Post Game Report. Pelican Summer League roster announced. Shout out to the fam, man. Appreciate y'all for joining me for this episode as we keep the Pelicans uh, information buzzing. Uh, the reality is, man, the Pelicans have put together a very guard-heavy Summer League team. Looking at Summer League team now because... Probably some of these guys, not all of them, but a few of them will end up on our G League team for further development. So anyway, with that being said, please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, family, as we go on, get going with this episode of the Pelican Post Game Report, Pelican's 2023 Summer League roster schedule. Shout out to brother Terry Kimball, who gives us a scoop. Pelicans announced the team's 2023 a summer league as we kind of dropped some of the information on our community section to keep the fellow Pelican family members abreast on some of the events. Summer league is fastly approaching. Pelicans announced their full roster today. Summer league play starts on July the 7th in Las Vegas at the Thomas and Mack Center. The opening game will be against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The rookie Jordan Hawkins headlines the roster class along with second year guard Dyson Daniels and forward EJ Lydell set to play as well. Assistant coach Casey Hill will be the lead, will lead the roster as the summer league's head coach. Here is some of the roster right here of some of our summer league players for the family members. If y'all haven't been keeping up, that's okay. We got you. And of course, we started off with number 21, Frank Bartlett, as he lines it up at the guard position. He's 6'3, 215 pounds from Louisiana. Lafayette. Let's get a little backdrop on him and Frank Bartlett. Like you said, the 6'3". He played in 133 games and Bartlett is a guy that has a lot. He has some overseas experience as well. Played 133 games out of Baton Rouge. He's from there and he averaged almost 10 points a game about an assist and a half for Frank Bartlett on 42.5% shooting from the field. 36 and a half shooting from downtown from Frank Bartlett. On to the next person, it's Isaiah Brockington, which should sound familiar to some of you guys because we had Isaiah Brockington on the team last year. Then he got released because of injury issues that happened. Well, Isaiah Brockington is back to the team. And he's very intriguing. A 6'4", 200-pound guard out of Philadelphia uh, from PA. That's where he's from. He Played for St. Bonaventure, Penn State, and Iowa State. Over 125 games during his career. Averaged just over uh, 10.4 uh, or 10 points a game. He assists 1.3, shoots 44.2% from the field and 34% from downtown. He's a 75% free throw shooter uh, for the Pelicans. Next person, uh, Garrison Brooks. He is a big 6'10", 240-pound big out of Mississippi State for the Pelicans. And we were talking about needing big guys to come in and help out the team. And the Pelicans do oblige. 6'10", 240 from Lafayette, Alabama. He went to North Carolina, then ultimately to Mississippi State where he was there. And he averaged, he played in 167 contests during his career and averaged almost 10 points a game. His rebound. Uh, average at uh, just six rebounds a game. He's 51% from the field, 35.2% from downtown, a big that can hit 35% of his three-point shots. Not that good from the foul line, almost 64% shooting, but 6'10", 240 big. Garrison Brooks has some skill with him. All right, next is another guard, 6'2", 175 out of Dayton, Jalen Crutcher. Now, Jalen Crutcher is... Uh, a guy, he's from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, like I said, he was with Dayton for a while. 118 games, averaged 13 and a half points per game, five assists on 44.1 shooting from the field, 37 and a half percent shooting from downtown, almost a 77 percent free throw shooter for Jalen Crutcher. Also, Dyson Daniels returns is Dyson Daniels, uh, 6'8, 200. They got him listed at 6'8. Is Dyson still growing? Uh, as well, so Dyson Daniels returns to the Pelicans. Remember last year, family averaged just under four points a game, 3.2 on the rebounds, and just uh, 2.3 on the assists. But Dyson Daniels, in a limited amount of time that Dyson did play for the Pelicans, that is what he was able to contribute to the team. Now, 
Also, moving on, first round draft pick this year, Mr. Jordan Hawkins signed with the team 6'5, 195 pounds out of Kentucky. We know what Mr. Jordan is capable of. He is a sharpshooter, NCAA champion, uh, coming here to help the Pelicans out of Connecticut. 64 games during his career in uh, Connecticut. Uh, in 22-23, he averaged 16.2 points per contest on 41% shooting from the field. He was a 39% shooter from downtown and shoots 89% from the foul line. So Jordan Hawkins, the dead eye, Hawkeye. That's what we need. That's my new nickname for Jordan Hawkins. We're going to call him Hawkeye because he's a sniper shooting it from deep. And then, of course, we got another one. We covered this on the previous screen, a stream as the Pelicans added Kamaka Hipa. He's another big guy, 6'10", 215 out of Hawaii. Kamaka Hipa is a guy that played in 118 games during his college career. He averaged 11 and a half points per game in 22-23, 6.6 on the rebounds, 42.4% from the field and shoots almost 39% from downtown. He's also an 84.2% free throw shooter. Kamaka Hipa, 6'10", big guy who could help the Pelicans, has some, some scrappiness to his game, too. Kamaka Hipa would be an intriguing person for the Pelican faithful to pay attention to. Mr. Landers Noli, the second 6'7", 220-pound uh, guard slash forward out of Cincinnati, is an interesting prospect the Pelicans picked up. He is a guy that played for Virginia Tech, Memphis, and Cincinnati. He played in 125 contests. He averaged almost 17 points per game, six rebounds, 2.6 on his assists, almost 45% from the field, 42% from downtown, and 75% from the foul line. So Landers Noli, the second very intriguing prospect for the Pelicans as well. 6'7", 220, has NBA body. Uh, is in very intriguing skill set. Got to pay attention to this young brother as well. Another guy that I like a lot too is Tavion Jones. He's another guard forward guy, 6'7", 220 guy out of South Utah. Another interesting candidate here as well. 126 games over his time in college between Illinois and Southern Utah. In last year's contest, he averaged almost 18 points a game, 4.4 on the rebounds. He shot 41% from the field and 36.2% from downtown, and he is an 84% free throw shooter. So interesting prospects the Pelicans have. Also, EJ Lydell, 6'7", 240 from Ohio State. Y'all remember EJ got hurt early on in the year for EJ Lydell. He's back. Fully healthy and ready to go. Good to see him. 6'8", power forward, uh, small center prospect. He played 92 games for the Ohio State team. He averaged 14.6 boards on 48% shooting from the field and 34.1% from downtown on 75% shooting from the foul line. So a lot of people very intrigued about EJ Lydell and will get an opportunity to see this very skilled player in the summer league. As we keep going, two more players. Carlo Metkovic, who was a former second-round draft pick last year, along with EJ Lydell for the Pelicans. We'll get another look at him. 6'11", 230-plus pound big man from Bosnia. And he comes in with the Pelicans. And Carlo Metkovic is a guy that's been playing over the seas. The Pelicans have been letting him kind of play. And he had an opportunity to play in a Euro Cup where he averaged in 10 games 17 minutes, 9.3 9.3 points per game on 5 and 5.2 rebounds, a contest, 60% shooting from the field, and shot 50% from downtown for Carlo Metkovic on the limited shots that he took. So finally, Darion Sebron, a 6'6", 183-pound player that's been spending a lot of his time with the Pelicans G League squad. And we see what he did last year for the Pelicans, even came uh, to the team and was on the active roster for several games, even though he didn't get much burn. But with the Birmingham squad, he averaged almost 17 points a game on 5.2 rebounds and just under five assists per contest for the uh, Birmingham squad on 27 act, uh, 27 games and 25 starts for Darion Sebron. So very positive for the Pelicans as they add this new summer league roster.
onto the team. It'll be good to see bringing in some of these guys. And we have to wait until July the 7th. We'll get to see all of our young players. And I've been very intriguing to see some of our big players like Garrison Brooks, Kamaka Hipa, uh, Landers Noli II, and Tavion Jones. Those are very interesting prospects to keep an eye out. Very interested to see Isaiah Brockington after the Pelicans decide to bring him back as well. So with that being said, what do you guys think about some of the moves the Pelicans are making here in terms of our summer league team? Who are you guys most interested in seeing in the summer league? Who are some of the guys? I know a lot of people like EJ Liddell, the guy Hawkeye and Jordan Hawkins. What do you guys, who else do you guys like or want to see on our summer league? What prospects are you excited about? Well, that'll do it for this episode of the Pelican Post Game Report. I'm Big Q. Please feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the notification button, hit all the damn buttons and light them up. Pelican Post Game Report is in this thing. The number one independent, longest running Pelican pod in the business. We up in this thing. This is what we do. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one. Go Pels.